The Ghana Chronicle on Tuesday, June 7th, carried a headline which stated that Cabinet approved new increased tolls for the Demerara Harbour Bridge. This news has incensed taxi drivers and motorcyclists alike, since they were the ones set to suffer alleged losses from the increase. The Ghana Chronicle was reportedly informed of these changes by way of the Department of Public Information, Office of the Prime Minister. The following day, another article noted that Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu had said that the increased toll was an investment in national development. This, in the minds of many, was confirmation that the toll was soon set to be increased. But the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, in a release on Thursday, stated emphatically that such was not the case, since no new tools were approved by Cabinet, but that it is still up for discussion. The release stated the following. However, the Ministry of Public Infrastructure would like to clarify that while the proposal to increase the tolls is indeed up for Cabinet consideration, approval has not been granted. Rather, the memorandum submitted by Minister of Public Infrastructure David Patterson was deferred. Minister Patterson is currently out of the country, but is being represented by minister within the ministry, Annette Ferguson, who has confirmed the deferral of the memorandum and has indicated that the proposal is still being ironed out. Furthermore, the management of the Demera Harbour Bridge is unaware of any new implemented tolls. When contacted, Minister of Public Infrastructure, who's presently in China, relayed the following to headline news. So I do not know if it was discussed in cabinet um, because I was not there, um, so I can't say here nor near. The minister also noted that the negative comments of passengers paying more are not true, and it is an attempt to stir up trouble. He defended this reasoning. 99% of the passengers travel over the bridge on minibuses. Mm -hmm. So that is, there is a vicious rumor, as usual, which seems to claim it out as if you'll be increasing its traveling in public. It will not be. No one actually takes a private car, because if you're going to take a private car over the river, you may not see the $100 um, in the car, it may not be the extremely minimal, because that's a rarity. Yeah. Right? Most persons take, as you would know, the minibus. Some media houses air the story following the lead by the Guyana Chronicle and interviewed taxi drivers operating the route. Some drivers had no issues with the changes if they were implemented, but others were totally against the decision. Hopefully the news of this report will ease the tension. Rihanna?